Hello students, in the chapter squares and square roots, let's continue exercise 5.4 in this video. Fourth problem, find the least number which must be subtracted from each of the following numbers so as to get a perfect square. Also find the square root of the perfect square so obtained. So first uh, we have to understand that the given number is not a perfect square. Okay, so the given number is not a perfect square means so it will leave a reminder so that reminder have to be subtracted from the given number okay so in the question itself they have given subtract okay so we have to subtract the reminder from the number so then we may get a perfect square so let's start with this so by long division we will do so here make pairs first then 4 it's a perfect square so 2 2's are 4 we will get so 4 minus 4 is 0 then bring down 0 3 sorry 0 2 okay so now we have uh, our divisor as 4 okay 4 is greater than 2 okay so still more we can't proceed so we have to put a 0 in the quotient so the reminder is 0 here so uh, what we can say 2 is the uh, least required number to be subtracted from 402 to get a perfect square. So, which is the reminder that number have to be subtracted from the uh, given number to get a perfect square. So, 400 minus 2 is 4, sorry, 402 minus 2 is 400. So, root of 400 equal to 20. Okay, so that's the answer. The next problem. 3250 so let's start doing by the long division method so 5 5 are 25 that is only less than 32 okay if you do 6 6 are 36 that is greater than 32 so we can't do so write it 25 here then subtract it so we will get uh, 7 and bring down this uh, 50 0 okay we are bringing this 5 0 here so our, in the new divisor we will get 5 plus 5 10 then uh, they, how we did in the first problem and all that like that we can't find the uh, number uh, by looking into the last digit by because this is not a perfect square so you should not use like that so use one by one okay by trial and error method only so you have to use one 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 by one so 101 into one is 101 that is very two smaller than uh, 750 so like that one by one you should uh, try 202 into 2 you should try like that one by one you should try then uh, find out the number which is just less than 750 okay so i found it to be 107 into 7 is uh, just less than 750 so it is 749 okay so what will be our reminder I'll re my reminder is 1 okay so here reminder is 1 1 is the least required number to be subtracted from uh, 3250 to get a perfect square. Okay. So, that is uh, 3249. That is a perfect uh, uh, square number. So, root of 3249 is 57. Okay. So, this is the answer. Next problem, find the least number which must be added to each of the following numbers so as to get a perfect square. Also, find the square root of the perfect square so obtained. Okay, here in the question you can see added. Okay, so we have to add the number. In the previous problem, we subtracted the, uh, some number to get a perfect square. Here we have to add number. Okay, so let's start with. So, same long division method we will take. First, make pairs. So, 5 is here. So, the num the uh, square number which is less than 5 is 4. So, 2 twos are 4. Reminder is 1. Okay. Then, bring down 2 5 here. Then, uh, here in the uh, divisor, you have 2 plus 2, 4. Okay. So, 4 into what number? 4, some number into the same number. Okay. So, one by one you have to try okay 41 into 1 you will get 41 42 into 2 is 84 okay if you do 43 into 3 it will go greater than 125 okay so we should stop till 2 so the reminder we get got is 41 okay 
now we have to take the quotient now see in the previous problem we took the remainder and subtracted from the given number okay here we has to be added no so you have to look for the quotient so our quotient is 22 so this number that is 525 it's in between 22 square and 23 square that's the meaning okay since this number 200 uh, sorry 525 is not a perfect square means this number is in between 22 and 23 okay so we have to take 23 square and find out it so 23 square is 529 okay so what number to be added to bring 529 so you have to subtract and find out so 529 minus 520 uh, 5 is 4 okay four numbers we have to add to this number to get 529 so root of 529 is 23 because in the question they asked so by the what uh, what is the root of the perfect square, square so obtained that's why it's written okay so four have to be added that's the answer okay the next problem 1750 so like by long division method we'll start so, 4 4s are 16. So, reminder 1 we will get. Then bring down 5 0. Then 4 plus 4 is 8. Okay. Then 81 into 1 is eight, uh, 81. Okay. That is a number less than 150. Okay. So, take the reminder. So, here we have to look for the quotient only. So, uh, 41 is 40 square of 41 is less than 1050. Uh, 750 okay so, so 1750 is in between 41 square and 42 square so find out 42 square so 42 square is um, 1764 so what number to be added to the given number so subtract it 1764 minus 1750 that is equal to 14 okay so 14 is the number to be added to the number given in our question okay so root of 107 uh, sorry 1764 is 42 okay then sixth problem find the length of the side of a square whose area is 441 meter square so area is given we have to find out the length of the uh, sides of the square so you have to know the formula for area of a square so area of a square is side square okay so with that idea only we are going to proceed length of the side is x then area of the square is side square no so x square okay so x square is 441 it is given we have to find out the length of the side so what we should do we should take root root of 441 we should find out okay so that by long division method if you find it out it is 21 okay x is 21 meters okay the so length of the side of the square is 21 meters then seventh problem in a right triangle abc angle b equal to 90 degree if ab equal to 6 centimeter bc equal to 8 centimeter find ac so this is the uh, diagram we we get by this given data so right angle is at b so bc length is given ab length is given so we don't know the hypotenuse okay so the side opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse this hypotenuse is unknown so what uh, we can use we can use the pythagoras theorem to find it out so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square by pythagoras theorem you have to mention what theorem you are using here okay so find it out so ac square is equal to 6 square plus 8 square so 6 square is 6 into 6 is 36 8 into 8 is 64 okay so add all the both together 36 plus 64 is 100 so ac square is 100 so ac is root of 100 okay so root of 100 means it is uh, 10 okay ac length is 10 centimeter so here uh, all units are given in centimeter so we should also write the answer in centimeter then eighth problem a gardener has 
thousand plants. He wants to plant these in such a way that the number of rows and the number of columns remain the same. Find the minimum number of plants he needed more for this. Okay, so already the gardener is having uh, thousand plants. He want to uh, make a square out of these plants. That is number of rows and columns are equal. Then that, that will look like a square. But if it is not possible, he may get more also. That means add it. Okay, understand this problem. He, uh, he may need more for this. That means he is going, he may get more also. Okay, so let's find it out. So let the number of rows be x and number of columns also be x. Okay, total number of plants is equal to x into x because we want a square. So x into x, that is x square. So x square is 1000. Okay, we don't know what is x. How many rows and columns he have decided, we don't know. So, find it out by the root. So, when we take root, okay, so make pairs and do the long division method as usual only. So, quotient we are getting 31, but reminder we are getting. That means 1000, it's not a perfect square. Okay, so reminder is the, the 39. The square of 31 is less than 1000. That means, okay, so 32 square is? 1024 okay so this 1000 is in between 31 square and 32 square so the number to be added is 1024 minus 1000 equal to 24 so he the gardener have to buy 24 more plants that's the answer okay then next problem here there are 500 children in a school for a PT drill, they have to stand in, uh, in such a manner that the number of rows is equal to the number of columns. How many children would be left out in this arrangement? So, totally 500 children are there. They have to be arranged in the form of a square. Okay, so number of rows and columns are equal. But if some children are excess means they have to be sent back. Okay, that means subtracted. Left out means they are going to be subtracted. Okay. So, let's find it out. So, number of children in row BX and column BX. Total number of students is X into X is X square. So, X square is 500. It is given. So, what is X? We don't know. So, find the root of 500. So, do the long division method. Okay. So, uh, we found, uh, we are getting a reminder. That means 500, it's not a perfect square. So, some children have to be sent out okay so what reminder we got 16 we got so 16 children are to be uh, have to be sent out okay 500 minus 16 is uh, 484 okay 484 means uh, 22 root of uh, 484 is 22 so 22 rows and columns of children will be there so in each row uh, there will be 22 rows and 22 columns and 16 children out of 500 have to be sent out of this arrangement. Understood? So, that's all for this video. Thank you children.